you make a statement in your book that is just remarkable, and I'm sure if you call it a statement, call it a quote from you, where you say, change your beliefs, change your behaviors. Yes. Change your behaviors, change your results. Yes. Change your results, change your life. Mm -hmm. I mean, these three small sentences can create such a dynamic shift in your life. What does that mean to you? It's quite profound. So what I've noticed in my research, what I deciphered in my research for Conquer Fear is it's really not the fear that holds people back because everyone has fear. Every success story is sprinkled or even doused with tons of fear. <laughs> so how come that person made it to their completion of their success story when they just they were riddled with fear as well. So it's really not the fear, Dan, that holds us back. In fact, fear, like the core of what fear is, can actually invigorate us. It's the, 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 that fight fleet reaction. So fear is actually healthy. In fact, it's our green light to go. What I tell my clients and my audiences is when you are feeling fear, you're sensing the fear sensations in your body and your mind and your emotions, you stop right there and you say, wow, I must be on to something amazing because fear is my green light to go. And boy, am I feeling fear right now. See, it's not the fear that's holding you back. It's the meaning that you attach to that fear. What are you making the fear mean? Most people, most average people, what are they, what's the meaning they attach to fear? Oh, it's a sign from God I should stop. Yep, it's a sign from God I shouldn't go forward. I'm feeling fear. Or it's a sign that I'm not on the right track. Or it's I, I'm not big enough for this. So when fear gets sensed or it comes into the equation, they stop or they get paralyzed. But it's not the fear that holds them back. It's the meaning they're attaching to the fear. It's the beliefs that they have about fear. So when I said in that book, Conquer Fear, when you change your beliefs... You change your behaviors because belief drives behaviors. If your belief about fear is, oh, it's, I got to stop this. I'm on the wrong track. Something's not right. It's not feeling good, right? <laughs> well, then those beliefs will drive your behaviors. Your conversations will be weak. You'll stop producing. You'll quit being in action. But with a simple shift in your mindset, with a simple perception shift, with the beliefs you have about fear, it can empower you. Fear then is your green light to go. You can choose to see fear as your energy, your inspiration, your fuel. It's your green light to go. So every time I feel fear, I say, wow, I'm up to the next level of living in life. I'm up to creating the next level in my career, the next success equation, the next experience in life. Bring it on. So you literally befriend your fear and move forward and be in action because beliefs drive behaviors. So you change your beliefs and you change your behaviors. And when, of course, when behaviors change, you change your outcome, your results. So what's the core to that equation of changing the outcome, your results? Change your beliefs. Change your beliefs.